Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record or print parameter modulation in Reaper. Now, if you don't know about parameter modulation, check out my other videos on the topic. In this video, we're going to focus on recording it to a track. So the track in front of us here that has a pad that's featured, let's hear what it sounds like. It's kind of boring sounding. So to make it more interesting, let's add some parameter modulation to the pad. I'm going to open an effect. I'll choose an EQ. And we're going to create a low pass filter. Let's bring up the Q to make it sound sharper. And let's delete all the unused bands. Let's see what that sounds like. It's a bit more interesting, but now it's modulated using parameter modulation. We'll click the frequency and go to the menu and choose it here. Now this trick is going to work with any of these, audio control, LFO, or linking it from another parameter. Let's use the LFO. It's a bit more fun. So I'm going to switch the shape to a square wave, change the speed to be in sync at two quarter notes. Let's bring down the strength and move up the baseline value. Let's go back a little lower. Let's make it one quarter note. A little wider. Let's hear what that sounds like. That's a bit more interesting. So now we can record this to a track or an envelope. We can just switch our track to write mode and go to the envelopes and make sure we turn on frequency low pass. That shows our envelope right here. As you can see, it's modulating already. So now if we go into write mode and we just hit play, it's going to record this modulation. Check it out. Pretty cool. But if you think about it, there's really no reason to print it when we could just leave this on, unless we want to modulate the modulation. Check it out. Let's bypass the envelope we just created. Let's go back to trim mode and check out what happens if we adjust the baseline parameter as it's modulating. That's even more interesting. And that's the benefit of printing or recording the automation, because we can modulate our modulation. And by recording it, we can create a dynamic performance. So let's do that. Let's go back to write mode, turn this back on, see it's moving, and then adjust this after we hit play. And now we can turn this off over here so there's no parameter modulation. Go back to trim mode and we can play this back. Because we recorded it. So now we don't have to perform it again. Now to make this more interesting, let's say we wanted to change up the modulation. For the section over here, go back to our track, turn the envelope off. Turn the LFO back on, and let's play with this to create a different sound. Let's change this to sine wave, change the tempo to three quarters or 750. Let's play around with that. That 
That's a cool effect too. And one of the benefits of printing it is we can print different things into different sections. So let's print this right over here. And I'm going to modulate it again by hand in addition to the parameter modulation. So I'll turn this back on, put this into write mode, see it's ready to go. Let's record some more. Turn this off, put this back to trim mode, and now we have both to play back. That's pretty cool. Let's create a few more. Let's go over to here, turn off the envelope. Let's turn our LFO back on. And now let's switch this to a saw wave left. And let's change the tempo to an eighth note. Let's adjust the strength. Let's go a bit faster. That feels pretty good. Now let's print that. Go back to write mode, turn on the envelope, and see it's ready to go. And again, we'll move this by hand. But this time, I'm going to adjust the strength by hand. Pretty cool. And again, we can play it back by going back to trim mode and turning the LFO off. Now let's say we wanted to change it every other bar. It's a bit too fast. So let's go back to an eighth note. Let's change this to saw right. We're going to put it on every other bar. So we're going to erase part of what we just did. Turn this back on. Go into write mode. Now we're going to play from bar 11 to bar 12. And then again at bar 13 to bar 14. Now let's hear it back. And now it should alternate. It's a pretty interesting effect. It's very dynamic. And we can go in afterwards and redraw it if we need to. Let me bring it slowly up here and down here. So we can manually adjust it along with printing the parameter modulation. And again, this is going to work with our LFO or even audio control. Let's check out the audio control. Let's go right about here. Turn the envelope off. Let's switch this to audio control. Let's play around with this. So the volume of it is actually creating the modulation. Now 
we could punch in on our track to readjust our automation. Let's try that. So let's punch in right here. Now to hear it back, put it back to trim mode. Let's hear that. It's a pretty dynamic effect. And anything we create with parameter modulation can be recorded or printed to our envelopes. And this will work with any instrument or plugin or its parameter not just a synth. So that's pretty much it. That's recording parameter modulation in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.